What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today is a big day for women in movies because for the first time ever in recorded history, a woman is in a movie. Thanks to Scarlett Johansson's bravery, her stunning bravery, we can now finally say that that barrier has been broken. A woman is in a movie for the first time ever in recorded history. This is a big day. This is a monumental moment for so many that have battled. And now for the first time ever, a woman is in a movie, period. This is the first time ever. I am so happy to be alive in this moment in time where I can say that I lived through a woman being in a movie for the first time ever. At least that's what Scarlett Johansson wants you to think because it's always about playing the victim. It's also letting men know that this movie was not made for you. This movie was not made for you. Not at all. I would reference Brie Larson saying that, but... Apparently, those movies never happened. Apparently, this is the first time a woman has ever been in a film. So, shout out to Scarlett Johansson for the bravery and the stunning, amazing accomplishment right here. So, let's go ahead over here to Bounding Into Comics. Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson claims women are undermined, undeserved, underappreciated, and underpaid. The same Scarlett Johansson that, according to Yahoo here, uh, is worth $165 million and is one of the highest paid actresses in the world. In 2018, Forbes dubbed her the highest paid actress in 2018, three years ago. But again, this is the first time a woman's ever been in a movie. This is the first time. Um, so congratulations to Scarlett Johansson. Uh, so brave, so stunning. Uh, Black Widow star and the highest paid actress in the world for the past two years, Scarlett Johansson, recently claimed women are undermined, undeserved, underappreciated, and underpaid. That's right. Always play the victim card. Always create a false narrative. Um, and I do have this, uh, this pulled up right here. Let's listen. How important is it to push the conversation? around gendered superheroes because this is what we're focusing on with the Black Widow movie. Well, I do think the film is inherently female be partly because of Kate Shortland directing it. It definitely has, um, you know, it sheds light on, it sheds light on a you know, um, on an imbalance, I think that uh, women feel like inherently because of how our society is, mm. has been forever, thousands and thousands of years. And, um, you know, the movie is about the subjugation of women. And the, uh, or, or let me remind you, this is the $165 million actress telling you how terrible it is for women and how hard and underpaid they are while she herself is making hundreds of millions of dollars. And, um, you know, the trauma that uh, we have to help one another out of. Um, and, you know, it's a film about women lifting one another up so that they may thrive. I mean, I, I don't think that you can really take that out of this film because it is it is a, an, an ingredient there um you know and it's it's about time too i kind of don't it is want about it time not, not it is there. about time <laughs> it is about time scarlett johansson it is about time that a woman was in a movie 2021 black widow scarlett johansson the first woman who has ever been in a movie what an accomplishment. What an amazing accomplishment. It is about time, Scar Joe. It is about time. I am so happy that you said that. I am so happy that you made such a brave and stunning stance to say it's about time women were in movies. It's about time. Unbelievable that we have gone this long 
all the way into our history before a woman was allowed to be in a movie. Unbelievable that we have reached this point. Thank goodness for Scarlett Johansson. Thank goodness for the brave and stunning allies in Hollywood. Thank you so much for making this moment happen. I am so happy. I am so thrilled to live in a time where women are allowed to be in movies Women are allowed to speak. Women are allowed to do things. Because up until this movie right here, women have never been allowed to do anything. This is amazing. Unbelievable. How's that movie doing, by the way? Well, according to Nerdrotics, available tickets for record-breaking Black Widow. Uh, looks like there's a lot of tickets available. Looks like people are tired of being preached to. Just saying. Just saying. Maybe they're tired of being preached to. Congratulations to Scarlett Johansson on being the first woman ever to star in a film. This film wasn't made for men. You bigots, you can sit on the sidelines this time, men. You can sit on the sidelines because this movie wasn't made for you. That's right. This movie wasn't made for you. And then when it doesn't perform as well as it should, why are men not seeing this movie? Why are men not seeing this movie? It's the same exact song and dance. We saw this with Captain Marvel. You know, that was the first ever female movie. It was about time women got an opportunity to be in movies. And we're seeing it all over again now with... Uh, you know, Black Widow, it's about time. It's about damn time women were allowed to be in movies. Just like with Black, uh, with, uh, Black Panther, uh, there was this kind of idea built around Black Panther. It's the first ever black superhero movie. It's just unbelievable, man. Like, the narrative will always shift. They will always move the goalpost. They will always shift it around. And nobody's calling them out on it. You know, we are. A few people are, but generally speaking... Hollywood just repeats the talking points. Uh, women have been in movies for a long time, Scarlett Johansson, and they've been very successful, and they've been received very well when their characters are properly written and not pushed for identity politics. It's pretty interesting what happens. Black Widow is a classic example of a female character that has been universally accepted because she was written as a normal character, as a normal woman, in the real world, except she's a badass. That's fine. It's a believable story. There's no pandering to it. None of that. Now, what happens in this movie? I can't say. What I'm speaking to is the marketing around it and the nonsense that they are putting into it because they always have to do this. They always have to virtue signal. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. It will never, ever, ever fail to watch them invent a fake victim narrative around something that is not there. But that's what it's all about. Fake victimhood, virtue signaling, and pretending that this is the first time it's ever happened. When reality, we've had a lot of amazing female characters over the years. Incredible female characters that are uh, looked upon in, in a very uh, positive light, that are iconic in a lot of ways. But they don't get mentioned anymore because it's not about women representation. It's about pretending that there is some type of adversity that the women are facing. Because it's all about being a victim. That's it. So, um, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Check us out on geesandgamers.com, our website, where you can become a premium member for only $10 a month, or you can sign up for free, jump in the forums, create your account, have whatever discussions you want. That premium membership helps us out a lot, and we greatly appreciate it. We have a lot of cool things going on right now. We have video game streams. We have Epic Game Clips, our new Game Clips channel, which I'm just loving that channel so much. Chris Inova is doing a fantastic job over there. Um, and obviously we're on Twitch, we're on Locals, uh, love that platform, and we see a lot of potential with that platform moving forward. We have Odyssey for Geeks and Gamers and D-Day Cobra and Sports Wars, so if you want to follow us over there, we would greatly appreciate it. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo did lose money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Lucasfilm. And we will talk to you later.